how's everybody doing today? I am your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Todd Corbin, the CEO of Odsium. How are you doing today, Todd? Great. Thanks for having me, Rich. Thank you for joining us. Can you please tell me a little bit about yourself, Todd? Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is uh, Todd Corbin. I actually grew up in Las Vegas, but after uh, undergrad at the University of Southern California, uh, I majored in broadcast journalism, and through that, I uh, got on with ESPN covering tennis in Europe. And uh, through that, the uh, the Olympics in uh, in Barcelona, that I got on that, and I was doing all the up close and personal stories. So you know, like the best Greco-Roman wrestler in the world or fencer, and then before the gold medal, they would roll in a piece. And I was living in Munich where uh, in 1989, I had met my girlfriend doing that tennis tour. She was working at the Davis Cup as a host. And I ended up coming to Munich and, uh, you know, learned the language. And uh, after the Barcelona Olympics in 92, a brand new network was starting to kind of copy ESPN. And um, at a very young age, I was uh, put in charge of bringing the NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball, NHL, and uh, to to Germany and wow. uh, yeah, so not only helping with the rights negotiation but the production and I even uh, the first three years I even had a, a show on television and it was sort of a wrap around and a kind of a highlight of all the U.S. sports and I was doing it in German but with an American accent so similar when you listen to English guys call soccer it sounds more authentic so I did that and then around. Um, you know, we did a lot. You know, I covered 10 Super Bowls, eight Stanley wow. Cups, eight, eight or nine NBA Finals, uh, three, three or four Olympics, a lot, you know, a lot of big events. And um, but I grew up in Vegas and my uh, um, dad was in the gaming business. So, you know, talking about, uh, you know, sports betting lines, the over under talking about how much a slot machine the edge has talking about, you know, if uh, Baccarat you know, all different things in the gaming business. It was sort of uh, in our, you know, at the dinner table. And I grew up in Vegas, you know. And um, so when poker television was starting out, it first uh, was coming and Germany was the biggest, uh, the new market. The UK was the first big market for online gaming in the world. And Germany was like the next frontier because you had a hundred million uh, people, great internet uh, infrastructure, um, you know, the uh, people were made a lot of money, enough money. So and um, so I brought we our company, the network bought poker TV, right? Poker. And I knew it because I played a lot of poker. I played in the World Series of Poker and I played a lot of cash games growing up in Vegas. And before people knew a lot about poker and, you know, we'd wake up at like two in the morning, we'd be fresh and the, and the tourist in Vegas would have been drinking since eight. And we would play very, you know, very classic uh, poker and we do all right. So I knew a lot about poker. And so I got put in charge of that. And then through that, I got to learn all these new online gaming companies about online gaming. So there at the time it was Party Poker and 888 and B Win and all of that. And they were like, wow, you know, you know, you, you know, you're American, you speak English, you know, the German market, this is the market we want to get into. You're actually running our poker for us, you know? come on board with us. So, you know, I made a decision, um, you know, through various reasons, our network had been uh, rebought and kind of the accountants and stuff were starting to kind of run the company. So instead of having a six, six camera shoot, it was only four cameras, instead of going two days before to do good journalist work, you could only go a half a day before. So it was getting more, wasn't as fun, right? So I jumped into this in 2000 and uh, into 2004, and I was hired by 888 Holdings which is one of the uh, larger online gaming companies in the world before they became public and in charge of the German market. And one thing led to another and I became uh, the VP there and um, I, I opened their sports book, ran their sports book and I act, had actually launched their brand in over 40 different countries, including bringing the, um, the uh, US back in 2014. And, uh, and then what had happened, Station Casinos, you know, grew, I grew up in Vegas, they knew of me because I had just launched in New Jersey. So they gave me a very good offer to come work for them. This is back in 2014, I brought my family from Munich where we were living and all the way back to, to the US, to Vegas where I grew up. And they knew Vegas from coming here and visiting their grandparents and all of that. So it was kind of like a second home. 
And uh, yeah, so I've been in Vegas since around 2015, um, but in the online gaming business since uh, yeah, 2005. I met, um, and how I got to know, to make, I met Wayne was when we were coming uh, in this early days, 2013, 14, when the beginning of online gaming was starting to get regulated in the US, that's where I met Wayne and we've stayed in contact with that. So when, uh, when he told me about Vegas winners and I said, well, you know what, um, you know, I'm putting a company together. This is about three years ago with a partner of mine in Sweden. And we, you know, we had always worked on the operator side. So we knew what operators needed in a sports betting aggregator, which is Otzi, which I'll tell you about. So when he told me about Vegas winners, um, I said, my God, Wayne, this is perfect. I need content. We have the technology. This is a perfect synergy. And then, you know, obviously I've been in the online gaming business probably longer than most people he knows. So he wanted me to help him, you know, helping him, introducing him to operators and really understanding, understanding the digital, the, you know, the online world of, of online gaming. And, you know, we both live in Las Vegas. So yeah, that's kind of how, how it happened. So um, yeah, I'm happy to, to be a part of it. And, but I really see that there's this really good synergy between uh, the two companies. That's a fantastic story. I, I came from the same background of radio and television broadcasting. Funny that we're all kind of coming together now on this project. Why have you joined the Vegas Winners Advisory Board? Well, you know, Wayne, Wayne asked me and, you know, I told him that, you know, that I'd be more than happy to, you know, because I, you know, I like Wayne and uh, he's a friend of mine. And, and it's something, you know, if someone asked me, it's something that I can really, I think, bring value to. Um, and it, you know, it doesn't cut away from my main business of Otzium. It actually adds to it. I said, I'll be more than happy to, uh, to get involved because what I wanted is to kind of bring the companies working closely together. So Otzium, basically, what we are, we're kind of like, think of uh, hotels.com, but for sports betting, we're an aggregator. So on one platform, one app, you can have your DraftKings, your FanDuel, your uh, Fox bet, points bet, all on one app. You see your wallet, everything. So you don't have to like click to six different apps. You don't have to then go to NFL.com to get an injury report. You don't have to see the table. You don't have to see that the, uh, you know, the uh, bucks have won, you know, whatever, two in a row. All that's kind of all on one app. Nice. And and, and, uh, and that's why and, and we're, we've been live for about a year and a half in Sweden. And we're in the process of, uh, you know, coming to the U.S. We're licensed now in uh, New Jersey. Colorado, Indiana, and we're about to get our Pennsylvania license. We're also licensed in Nevada. Wow. Uh, so, um, and so that's kind of why I said, listen, you know, Vegas winners, I need good content um, to help add to this. So it's a nice, so if someone like Wayne, you know, says that, uh, you, know, you, know, you know, let's say the Bucks, uh, you know, Bucks were playing the Giants, right, on Monday night. And he gives a, he gives a, uh, his idea of who's going to win and why you should pick that. So by going then to Otsium, it gives you even more of a reason because you might say, he might say, yeah, pick, pick the bucks at uh, minus seven. But if you go to Otsium, there might be a book that's offering it at, um, at minus, uh, at minus six. So it's even better. And then all the different bonuses and all the, the ease of using the app and whatnot. So there's a perfect synergy. So that's why, I really got involved, um, you know, with Wayne in this project as well. Can you also explain to our audience what Vegas Winners does? Okay, so think of Vegas Winners is basically, um, you know, we live in a very um, busy world now. There's a lot happening. And to really, to do in anything well, you have to really take a deep dive. It's a, if it's a poker player, if it's sports betting, anything where there's a skill, right? A golfer, anything... You need hours and hours of time to really go through the line, look at all of the, the, the details, look at history and history of what happened. So Vegas Winners is basically a service that um, helps you make those uh, decisions a lot easier and quicker. So think of it almost like, I would think of it like, you know, let's say you were going to uh, buy stock or make something. So it's almost like uh, speaking to your stockbroker or someone who does that for a living and can tell you why you should buy this stock or maybe you should divest into Bitcoin or maybe you should hold off and have everything in cash. So it's, it's actually 
um, that's kind of what Vegas winners is. It, it basically helps you make uh, a smart decision because you're getting the, you know, the, uh, for people, that's what they do for a living. You know, they're experts. That's what they do 10 hours a day. And, and not only what they do, but they have all the history uh, to look at the back, you know, the back thing. So, oh yeah, Tom Brady, um, or, you know, let's say a perfect example might be uh, like Derek Carr, you know, the Raiders have a history of playing bad in cold weather and they can give you all the reasons why and all this, all these different things. So it just helps you make a, um, you know, at the end of the day, you still got to make your own bet, you know? So, you know, because Wayne told you to do that, you might really strongly feel against that and still, but at least you, you had an expert and you at least got the, uh, the advice because at the end of the day, you know, the knowledge is power, you know? hundred percent. I agree with you hundred percent. And we do the same thing with stocks. So, yeah. you know, our community is always looking at me to do the research, but I always say to them, I'm not licensed. So do your due diligence and always consult a financial advisor for an extra opinion. Um, so it's always good when you're making a bet or you're investing in a stock to get other opinions so that you're not necessarily making a decision hundred percent on your own. So yeah. I really, I like the concept. Now, what is the value proposition that Vegas winners offers its clients? Well, I mean, what, it, I mean, what Vegas winners, the, the value proposition is that it's by using the service, you should win much, you should win more than lose, you know? So, you know, if you, if you end up winning a, a winning sports better, you know, you have to, you have to take the juice of 5%, you know, now it's a little higher because there's, you know, a lot of people are in newer markets are excited about betting parlays and, and different things like that. So the, it's a little higher right now, but when the dust settles, it'll come back to kind of more of what Vegas is where the books are working on a 5% margin. So if you can, you know, win, you know, 56, 57% of the time and, and eke out a two, 3%, uh, edge, then if that's what Vegas winners can help you provide that, then that's the service. Now they have to do that. They have to give you good advice, which they will. And by following the advice, you know, there might be, there might be weeks where you lose, but if you look at it over the course of a season or a whole year, if you're betting multiple sports, if you end up a winner, then that's the service that it's giving you just good advice. So that, that's how you have to look at it. And you shouldn't look at it as a short term, um, you know, short term, because at the, at the end of the day, even though betting uh, sports is a skill, there's still like picking stocks or anything. There's still an element of luck that does come in or other things that you can't factor in. But long term, uh, a good handicapper, a good sports better um, is going to win. And that's why there's not that many people that do it for a living. So anytime someone says, oh, I, you know, I, I do that for a living or if I play poker for a living or I bet, you know, I always, they, for me, they have to at least be doing it for at least five years. And that's their primary source of income. And they've, they've learned how to deal with this, the, the, you know, the swings, the highs and the lows. So, um, you know, there's very few people to do, to do that. And because sports betting is becoming a lot more mainstream and a lot more um, um, popular, um, you know, this is really important because the, the sports books, you know, they really know what they're doing and they set the lines at a very, very razor thin. So, you know, the sports books have a lot of data and a lot of things that they're working off of. There's no reason why the consumer shouldn't have the benefit to at least tap into some of that as well. How has the opportunity been enhanced due to the continued growth of the online gaming industry and COVID-19? Oh, well, I mean, you know, obviously COVID, COVID, um, you know, is obviously it's something that I don't think anyone in, you know, in our life, you know, anyone that's like 80 years old or, or younger, 90 years old or younger has ever experienced. So basically not many people. So it's obviously terrible, terrible, but there has been in the online gaming business, a silver lining. So even before when sports were closed, you know, the, the online uh, gaming casino business was up three, 400%. So the companies that had, you know, in New Jersey and Pennsylvania had um, online, they were making a lot of money and they were off shooting because their casinos were closed. And then when sports came back on, um, you know, more people are doing it. Just, you know, personally, you know, I've always been, obviously I grew up in the digital space and I've been in this business, but 
you know, even when I visit friends and they're in town and they want to watch a game and they're in a sports book, I still bet from a mobile app, you know, it's just quicker. It's faster. I know that I'm going to get the bet in. I don't get blocked out. I don't, you know, the, the human error, the person at the window doesn't write down the wrong, you know, there's a lot of factors that go in. And so you still get the fun experience of being in, in the, um, in the sports book, but, you know, COVID has definitely, in, not just in, in online gaming, but in, in, in cashless payments, in, in meeting like we are meeting right now, because of Zoom, it's definitely, all these things were happening. It's just COVID just put this stuff on, a, on, a, on, on steroids and just, uh, in my opinion, anything that was digital or whatnot, it made it happen two to three years faster. So, um, you know, it was a natural evolution and, um, you know, COVID has actually been a silver, you know, silver lining for the online uh, gaming space and online sports betting space. Now, Todd, as the CEO of Odsium, you touched on this earlier. Can you please tell our audience what exactly Odsium does and what makes you and your business unique? Yeah, so what we do is we are what's known as a sports betting aggregator. So as I said, similar to Hotels.com or Trovago, if you're looking for a flight. So if you're looking for lines in a game, they'll vary depending on sports book. They might vary, you know, anywhere from a half a point to a point to even uh, one and a half. It depends on what the sports book is trying to do. Some sports books might want to be a loss leader and take a lot of action because they want to acquire customers. So that they'll be able, they want, they might want to lose on that game, you know, but they want to acquire customers. And then that's the same with, with the over under as well. And that also with various promotions for signups and things like that. So what we do we condense that all on one app that you see very easily, all the different lines, all the different promotions. You can connect, uh, you know, from one app, you can connect your FanDuel, your DraftKings. So, because what, what operators, what we've seen, having been in this business and run a sports book, is that the customers that everyone wants are the customers that usually have three to four different accounts, with three or four different operators. So. And what op, what Oxium does, unlike other affiliates, where you know there's a lot of affiliates that will write content and and then they'll have like a, a banner and then you click it and then that's lost. You know, the, our conversion rate right now in Sweden is about ninety percent. Wow. Where that conversion rate the other way is only about ten percent. So that's the first thing. And then by us being connected with the customer. We act, act um, almost like a, a mini CRM uh, department for the operators helping them, you know, because we have all this data on, on what the customers are doing and how they're betting and, and everything. So um, that's a great thing. And then um, we feel that potentially Oxium with the regulators could be a, an interesting uh, tool to use too, because they have a, such a great overview and digitally, you know, in, um, right in 24 seven, right at, uh, you know, right at in play what's happening overall so you know it's it's uh, there's nothing really like it it took us uh, about three to four years to develop and we've been live for uh, about a year over a year in sweden so we're really excited because um you know if you look at if you look as a market matures um and people learn more about sports betting um they'll want to get better odds and, if, and then if they're connected to someone like um you know vegas winners and wayne and wayne will says well you know, by all means, you know, take the Steelers, but only if you have to give five, no more. If it's five and a half. So then by something like Oxium, you can look very carefully, very quickly at all the different operators. Oh, there's there's uh, an operator, 888. They're offering at five where everyone else is at five and a half and six. So and on top of that, if I open a, a new account, I'm going to get uh, $50 in free play. So, you know, similar to other aggregators, there's aggregators, like I said, in the travel business, there's aggregators now in the insurance business, all of the, you know, there's a lot of aggregators. And um, so that that's what we are, but for sports betting. How might Odsium and Vegas winners work and make money together? You guys obviously are partnering. So how does that work and how lucrative can that be for both of you guys? Well, I think uh, two different ways. I think obviously if, um, uh, People see about, uh, you know, they, they hear about Vegas winners and they're, they're uh, you know, engaging with the content and whatnot. Then by, uh, you know, Wayne saying, sign up with Otsium and whatnot, then we would share in the revenue that way. Now, the, the flip side, if 
you know, people came to Otsium and, you know, we would then tell our customer base, hey, you know, like for instance, hey, Todd, we see that you're, you know, you, you've been losing, you're only winning, uh, you know, 35% of the time or whatnot. Because we, we break it down for you, you know, we, you sh we show you exactly how much you're winning, how much you're losing on every different operator, you know, because people are superstitious, you know, and by sport and all of this. So we give you a lot of good information, but you still might not be doing well. And then we could then easily say, well, you know, you should actually look at the service Vegas winners and that would, uh, you know, help you become a better, better. Um, so, you know, there's just a very natural uh, synergy because obviously we're, we, we're, we, we're different, but we're working on the same customer base. Oh, this is great. I'm really excited about watching you guys evolve and the company grow. Thank you so much for your time today, Todd, the CEO of Odyssey, now working hand in hand with Vegas winners. Congratulations on all your success and our entire community will be watching as you guys continue to evolve. Thank you so much. Nice talking to you. Pleasure. Nice talking to you as well. And for all of you guys that are watching, please go to Go Green. G-O-O -O is the symbol. G-O-O -O -O is the symbol on the OTC markets. And Todd Cobrin is the CEO of Odyssey. Thank you so much for your time, Todd. Have yourself a great day. And thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye. Thanks, everybody.